Hello friends, welcome back. In this tutorial, we will learn how we can build a heap from the elements of an array. Suppose an array of n elements is given to us, right? Suppose an array A of n elements is given to us and we have to build a max heap of elements of this array A. Then what will we do? First of all, we will make the complete binary tree of the elements of array A. Right? We will make the complete binary tree of the elements of array A in such a way that first element of array A must be the root node of complete binary tree. Right? And if a node is stored in array A at index i, right? If a node of complete binary tree is stored in array A at index i, then its left child must be the element which is stored in array A at index 2i and its right child must be the element which is stored in array A at index 2i plus 1. For example, if the node of complete binary tree is stored in array A at index 2, then its left child must be the element which is stored in array A at index 4 and its right child must be the element which is stored in array A at index 5. Now what we will we'll do after this? After making this complete binary tree, we will start from the node whose index in array A is floor of n by 2 and we will apply max heapify algorithm on that node right here n is the number of elements in array a right so if array a has 10 elements right then the floor of n by 2 right that is the floor of 10 by 2 will be 5 then it means we will start from the node whose index in array A is 5 and we will apply max heapify algorithm on that node, right? After this, we will apply max heapify algorithm on node whose index in array A is 1 less than the index of node on which we have applied max heapify algorithm, right? We will keep on applying max heapify algorithm on nodes of complete binary tree and each time we will take a node whose index in array a is one less than the index of previous one we will stop after applying max heapify algorithm on the root node of complete binary tree right the complete binary tree which we will get after this will be a max heap right now it will be more clear after this example suppose this array a of 10 elements is given to us right now what we have to do we have to build a max heap of the elements of this array a right we have to build a max heap of these 10 elements then what will we do first of all we will make a complete binary tree from the elements of this array a right and uh, we will make this complete binary tree from the elements of array a in such a way that the root node of complete binary tree will be the first element of array a right and if the node of this complete binary tree 
is stored at index i in array a then its left child will be the element which is stored at index 2i in array a and its right child will be the element which is stored at index 2i plus 1 in array a right now see this root node of this complete binary tree right this uh, root is stored at index 1 in array a right so its left child will be the element which is stored at index 2 in array a and now see here this node this node is stored in array a at index 2 so its left child is the element which is stored at index 4 in array a and its right child is the element which is stored at index 5 in array a right now this array a has 10 elements right so the floor 10 by 2 is 5 right so what will we do we will start from that node of this complete binary tree which is stored at index 5 in array a this node is stored at index 5 in array a so we will apply max hippify algorithm on this node right after this we will apply max hippify algorithm on that node which is stored at index 1 less than the node on which we have already applied max hippify algorithm right so after this we will apply max hippify algorithm on a node which is stored at index 4 after this we will apply max hippify algorithm on that node which is stored at index 3 in array a right after this we will apply max hippify algorithm on that node which is stored at index 2 right and uh, we will repeat this procedure until we will apply max hippify algorithm on root node right after applying max hippify algorithm on root node we will stop right and we will get a max heap right so first of all we will apply max hippify algorithm on this node whose index in array a is 5 right now see this node right this node is not smaller than its children right the value at this node is not smaller than its children so this node does not violate any maxi property so it will remain here it will remain as it is right after applying max hippify algorithm on this node there will be no change right now we will apply max hippify algorithm on a node whose index is one less than uh, 5 right so we will apply max hippify algorithm on this node right now see this node the value of this node is smaller than the value of its children right so this node violates max heap property right so what the max hippify algorithm will do see the largest value among this node its left child and its right child is of its left child that is 14 so what the max hippify algorithm will do it will exchange this node with its left child right so what will happen this uh, left child will come here and this node will come here right so that after this we will get this tree right now 
this node has come here right now here it does not violate any maxseq property right so maxcp5 algorithm will terminate here now we will apply maxcp5 algorithm on a node which is stored at index 3 in array a it means we will apply maxcp5 algorithm on this node right this node violates maxi property. It, its value is smaller than the value of its children. So what the maxcp5 algorithm will do? First of all, it compares the value of a node with the value of its left child and its right child. Right. So here the value of its left child and its uh, value of its right child. Right. And the value of this node. Right. The largest value among all these three nodes is of the right child of this node and it is 10. So what the maxcp5 algorithm will do? It will exchange this node with its right child. Right. So after this, its right child will come here in place of this node and this node will come here in the place of its right child. Right. Now. Here, this node now does not violate any maxi property, right? So, max CP5 algorithm will terminate here. Now, we will apply max CP5 algorithm on a node whose index is one less than the index of a node on which we have applied maxcp5 algorithm right so now we will apply maxcp5 algorithm on a node whose index is 2 it means we will apply maxcp5 algorithm on this node right now this node violates maxi property right so what the maxcp5 algorithm does it compares the value of a node with its left child and its right child right the the largest value among these three nodes is of the right child of this node. So what the max CP5 algorithm will do, it will exchange the value of this node with its right child. Right. Now this node will come here and its right child will come in place of this node. So we will get this tree. Right. Now here the node has taken the place of its right child. It has come here. Here again maxcp5 algorithm will be applied on it. Right. Now again the value of this node is compared with its left child and its right child. Right. So the it, this node does not have any right child. Right. So the largest value among uh, this node and its left child is of its left child. So we will exchange this node with its left child right so this node will take place of its left child and its left child will take place of this node right so we will get this complete binary tree right now this node has got a new place in this tree and now it does not violate max heap property so max heap file algorithm will terminate here right now after this we will apply max heap file algorithm on root node right on this node now first of all the max cp5 algorithm will compare the value of this node with the value of its children right the largest value among this node its left child and its right child is of the left child of this node right and it is 16 right so what will we do we will exchange this node with its left child so we will exchange the root node with its left child right so 
its left child will become the root and uh, this node right will become the left child of root right so root will become 16 right the value at root will become 16 and the value of uh, left child of root will become 4 right now the left child of root has got a new value right now max hippify algorithm will apply it on left child of root right we will apply max hippify algorithm on this node right now max hippify algorithm will compare the value of this node its left child and its right child the largest value among these three nodes is of the left child of this node right so we will exchange this node with its left child right so its left child will come here will take in the place of this node and this node will take place of its left child right so this node has come here right and uh, this node has come here now again the left child of uh, this node it means this node the left child of this node it means this node has got a new value right again max hippify algorithm will be applied on it right now the largest value among this node its left child and its right child is the value of its right child so we will exchange this node with its right child so what will happen this node will take place of its right child and its right child will take place of it right so we will get this tree right now the right child of uh, this node it means this node has got a new value right now again max cpify algorithm will apply on this node but here this node does not violate max heap property right so max cp file algorithm will terminate there right now the complete binary tree which we have is a max heap right now the complete binary tree which we have got now is a max heap right in this way if an array of elements is given to us we can build a max heap from the elements of that array 